All right, welcome back, guys. So, as promised in my last video, I am installing some brakes on the uh, G35S today. I'm gonna go with some cross drilled uh, and slotted rotors and um, power stop evolution brake pads, front and rear, and also those. Damn! We'll be putting back on our summer, spring, fall wheels and tires. Don't they look so pretty? The little stretch there, I'm missing that. This look, uh, it served me well. Gave me some nice uh, grip during the winter time. I didn't have to worry so much uh, when I hit those potholes, which we have a ton of potholes here in Pennsylvania. They haven't been fixed yet, so I'll be doing a little bit of dodging uh, for now, but I just can't go any longer. I gotta put these ones back on. Get rid of these suckers until the end of the year. So winter time. I'm gonna paint my caliper while everything is still in there and give it a nice fresh coat of silver before I even take this stuff apart. So, yeah. So let's pick up some silver spray paint. Sometimes I go a high temp, but it usually doesn't even matter. Yep, gotta do. I'm not even gonna thoroughly clean this thing. I don't go and tape a whole bunch of stuff off. I just want them to look a little bit better behind the spokes. And this ain't no show car, so. Those people that spend all that time. Ain't nobody got time for that. So I'm just gonna hit it. Rust, dirt, and all. All right, let's get this caliper off. Top bolt. I'm bolt. Just gotta find somewhere to hang this on. I feel like there's a little hook right here. I have to get a hanger. Out with the old. All right, so. Houston, we have a problem. Looks like I might have the wrong rotors. See, because I have a G35 Sport. Well, they made them for other years, but my car is specific for is 2007, 2008. And I swear I got the right stuff but that looks too big. Almost by 10 millimeters, which I know they make a 320 and a 330. I thought I had a 330, which is this one here. It looks like I have a 320. So I'm almost positive that this rotor, I could tell when I first lift them up, was way heavier. So, damn it. So after just checking out my brake pads that are currently on the car, I can see that they, um, they might have been too large for the rotor. You can see the rotor, the brake pads are, have a groove worn into them at the top. And that might have been because maybe at some point, someone put on here the wrong size front rotor. So I'm gonna continue with my install. Get what? <laughs> it what? The, uh, the rotor does fit. I think this was the correct size. I think whoever uh, put the old rotors on uh, must have just got the rotors for the basic car and not the sport. They're actually considerably heavier and bigger than the ones that were on there. So I wonder how much, how that's gonna affect the uh, performance. But um, I'm not gonna film too much because my filmer is gone. So that's one wheel done. It took about an hour. Hopefully it should only take a little bit less. I don't think this is supposed to be that loose. So, I guess I'll take out that pin and tighten up this axle nut and carry on. It's probably like 11 o'clock at night and uh, I'm gonna keep on moving because I gotta drive this at 7 a.m. in the morning. Right, one side is done. That back one took about an hour. Couldn't get the rotor off, but I figured it out. The front one took about an hour. So about two hours in, new front rotors, new rear rotors, new brakes. I think the other side should go quicker because now I know exactly what not to do. After I was hammering on the other side for 30 minutes, it didn't bite. So I figured out a little bit of liquid wrench, spray it around the bolt holes here. But not a lot, just a little bit. And then around this seam here and let it sit. 30 seconds later, Boom, knocked it off, came off with the first hit. That 
that's it. And then be sure to clean everything thoroughly with some brake clean when you reassemble. There we go. Two hours later. Um, it is around 1.30, 1.40 a.m. I did get everything done. I got the wheels on there, the brakes, was, brakes on there. I ran into a couple issues with the last one, but um, figured it out. And then I was cleaning the car and I heard it starting to downpour outside. This car was outside. Um, I don't like to get it rained on, especially if I just uh, cleaned it up and detailed it. So then uh, got the other, the G out of here, brought this back in and just cleaned it off. So uh, it, I'm tired, I'm going to bed. Uh, I'll finish this video tomorrow and you can see how the car looks with the wheels on there and the, and the new brakes and all, so. Six hours later. Okay, here she is. Rich boy selling it, all the maiders want a check. Tight, no slick, just bought a Cadillac. Throw some D's on that, throw that. Just bought a Cadillac. Throw some D's on that, throw that. Just bought a Cadillac. Rich boy selling it, all the maiders. Those brakes look great behind those wheels. Like, comment, subscribe. See you next video. I'm out. Whoa. What you call an icon living? Start a record label, Miss Fish just did it. Woo. Nylon, couple five minutes. Whoa. We are too hot in the business. Woo. About to make a movie independent.